Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. This is a good day that God has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. I welcome you on this platform today in Jesus' precious name. Um, to you who is seeing me for the very first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, and always I bring you a fresh word from the throne of the Lord. I'm praying with you on this platform always, trusting God for miracles and blessings over your life. Please kindly consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so that you are connected with us continually. You are a member of this platform, you are subscribed already, you pray with us always. Thank you so much for being my family. God bless you. Family, the Lord is speaking to us today. I'm very profound prophetic word. Very, very profound prophetic word. The Lord says they still want you even if they do not show it. God says they still want you even if they do not show it. So this is kind of like a word that is going straight to somebody who is confused. You are having a mixed um, 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 feeling or you are having a um, mixed uh, 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 conception about whether somebody wants you or not. You are in the middle of, I mean, almost nowhere. Yeah, certain things happened in your relationship and, and, and then it actually got broken. Or it's not really as strong as it used to be before. Now you don't know what step to take. You don't know if these people still think about you. You don't know if they really still want you. You don't know if you know their minds have been drawn to somebody else or to somewhere else. The Lord is speaking through this prophetic word to you. God says they still want you, although they do not show you. You see, it is very important for you to understand that sometimes human beings are very um, um, deceptive and proud. Some of them are just proud. Some of them are proud or some of them are not, they don't know how to express or to vocalize their emotions. So yeah, they might be thinking about you, they might want everything about you, but they don't, they don't just know how to come up and say it. Maybe God has been showing you about someone and you've been putting in some effort and you're thinking that they are not reciprocating that effort. They are not doing what they have to do and you're feeling tired. Well, the Lord says that they want you. They are not showing it, but they do want you. So what you need to do is you need to just pray for God to help them to receive an open heart towards what they are feeling towards you. This is very important. This is super important. You must trust the Lord to give them an open heart, um, you know, to be able to, you know, speak out, to voice out. And sometimes the enemy comes and stands in between people so that he doesn't want your relationship to move forward. He doesn't want your career to move forward. He wants misunderstanding. He wants mis, 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 misconceptions. He wants um, a, a misguided um, um, perception about everything. So he comes in and just tries to destroy everything. But you need to pray. Kick the hand of the devil out of your relationships and let the people be open. Let them be willing to be vulnerable before you. Let them be willing to, you know, just let it all out. Because these persons I'm seeing, they still go back to your SMSs, their, their, your past messages, they read it. They are kind of like obsessed about everything that has to do with you. They're following up on you, checking up on your social media. But they are not just coming out clear. And it's kind of frustrating. Well, the Lord says they want you. This information is coming to give you more hope, that all hopes are not gone, that it's not completely and entirely lost. You should keep trusting God and keep praying. This is a specific case still on this prophetic word. Probably your spouse left you for someone else or you heard rumors that they are actually with someone else and you have just been there. You don't know what to do. You're asking if he really still wants you. God is saying he still wants you and you have to fight. Fight in the place of prayer until your relationship is restored. I pray that God gives you um, 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 wisdom on how to handle this situation right now. I pray that God opens your way. I pray that God brings you into love and on, 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 uh, on, 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 unquenchable love in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and may he be gracious to you and give you peace today in Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? 
שלום.